In a bold and potentially game-changing move, China is signaling its arrival at the forefront of advanced semiconductor manufacturing. As of May 2025, Huawei has reportedly begun testing a domestically developed extreme ultraviolet EUV lithography system, technology that, until recently, was considered almost entirely out of reach for the country due to years of strict international export controls and sanctions. According to credible industry sources including DigiTimes and Tech Power Up, these tests are already underway at Huawei's state-of-the-art facility in Dongguan. With trial production of advanced chips expected to begin by the third quarter of 2025. If successful, mass production could follow as early as 2026, an outcome that would dramatically alter the balance of power in the global chip industry. EUV lithography is not just another manufacturing method, it's the crown jewel of modern semiconductor fabrication, enabling the creation of chips with features as small as 7 nanometers, 5 nanometers, and now 3 nanometers. These chips power everything from the latest flagship smartphones, high-performance computing systems, and artificial intelligence infrastructure. Until now, this cutting-edge process has been monopolized by the Dutch company ASML, the only firm in the world capable of producing the highly sophisticated EUV machines necessary for this level of fabrication. In 2020, under mounting pressure from the United States and allied governments, ASML halted all exports of EUV systems to China. The decision was part of a broader sanctions regime aimed at slowing China's ability to develop advanced semiconductors. These sanctions were widely expected to delay China's technological progress by at least a decade. By cutting off access to the tools required to manufacture sub-7 nanometer chips, the sanctions effectively barred companies like Huawei and its key domestic foundry partner SMIC from participating in the global race for semiconductor leadership. And yet, against all odds, China appears to have turned a corner. Huawei's EUV prototype is being hailed as a breakthrough. An achievement made possible by years of relentless R&D, a strategic pivot toward domestic self-reliance, and the mobilization of top-tier talent from across China's scientific and engineering landscape. What began as a survival strategy in the face of geopolitical pressure has now matured into a plausible blueprint for technological independence. The significance of this development goes beyond one company or even one country. Analysts are increasingly linking Huawei's EUV project to a broader national initiative, a so-called 3NMMO plan driven by Beijing's determination to achieve semiconductor self-sufficiency and reduce dependency on foreign suppliers. While the full scope of this plan remains classified, early indicators suggest it is a top-level priority for the Chinese government. If Huawei can successfully scale EUV-based production at the 3 nm level, it would not only represent a technical leap forward for China, but also send shockwaves through the global semiconductor ecosystem. Of course, questions remain. Industry experts are cautious, pointing out that developing a working prototype is one thing. Achieving commercial-scale production with high yields and competitive performance is another. Yet even at this stage, the confirmation that functional EUV trials are underway in China is a turning point. One that suggests the country may be far closer to catching up with the West than many had assumed. What's powering this sudden surge?
The answer lies in an innovative and relatively unknown alternative to ASML's traditional EUV technology, LDP, or laser-induced discharge plasma. Unlike ASML's LPP, or laser-produced plasma machines, which require massive, complex systems involving high-powered lasers, rotating tin droplets, and mirrors engineered to near-perfect atomic precision, LDP is a leaner, more streamlined approach. The LDP process vaporizes tin between two electrodes and uses a high-voltage discharge to generate plasma. This plasma emits EUV light at the critical 13.5 nanometer wavelength needed to etch circuits at the 3 nanometer scale. While this may sound obscure, it hits the same wavelength sweet spot that ASML's systems use, except with a simpler and potentially far cheaper architecture. ASML's EUV machines reportedly cost over $350 million each and take months to install and calibrate. In contrast, LDP machines, while still highly advanced, are smaller, less costly, and possibly more scalable, exactly the qualities needed for mass deployment in a sanctions-constrained environment. Evidence is mounting that this isn't theoretical. Reports from WCCF Tech and Huawei Central have confirmed that LDP-based EUV systems are actively being tested at Huawei's Dongguan Research Campus. The company, which filed patents for LDP technology back in 2023, appears to be leading the charge in what many now believe is a state-backed effort to leapfrog the West in chip-making independence. With trial production expected to begin in just a few months, all eyes are on whether this technology will live up to its promise. If the trials go smoothly and mass production begins in 2026 as planned, Huawei could begin producing homegrown 3 nanometers chips in volume, a development that would allow China to circumvent Western sanctions and regain its footing at the high end of the semiconductor market. Such a breakthrough wouldn't just benefit Huawei. It could enable a broader ecosystem of Chinese firms to access cutting-edge chips without relying on foreign suppliers. It would also pose a direct challenge to the dominance of Western chipmakers like Intel, TSMC, and Samsung, all of whom still rely on ASML's EUV systems. As geopolitical tensions continue to reshape global supply chains, Huawei's apparent progress in EUV technology marks more than a technical milestone. It signals the emergence of a parallel semiconductor universe, one that may operate outside the traditional Western-led infrastructure that has dominated the industry for decades. Whether LDP becomes the new global standard or remains a uniquely Chinese workaround, the implications are profound. The global tech landscape may be on the cusp of its most significant transformation in years, and this time, the change is coming from the East. It doesn't stop with Huawei, not even close. SMI, China's leading chip foundry, is going all in too. What we're witnessing isn't just a national effort to keep up with the West. It's a coordinated push to leapfrog it entirely. In January 2025, a report from the South China Morning Post revealed that a Harbin-based research team had achieved a major milestone. Their own EUV light source, reaching the critical 13.x nanometer wavelength threshold. That level of precision has only ever been mastered by a select few. This isn't some isolated lab success. It's part of a high-stakes, hyper-accelerated campaign that's charging forward at breakneck speed. Why does 3 nanometer matter so much? Because in the semiconductor world, smaller means stronger. It means chips that are more powerful, more efficient, and less power-hungry. It means your next smartphone won't just be faster. It could run complex AI models locally, without ever touching the cloud. Self-driving cars could reach new levels of precision. Quantum computing could get the push it's been waiting for. 3 nanometer isn't just a spec, it's a technological inflection point. For years, the West's lead in advanced chip manufacturing has powered everything from NVIDIA's AI breakthroughs to Apple's silicon supremacy. But if China breaks through this wall, it could completely upend the global balance of power. At present, Huawei is using 7 nanometer chips made by SMIC in its Mate phones and Ascend AI processors. That in itself is a massive achievement, especially under heavy sanctions. But 7 mil is just a stepping stone. The real battleground is 3 nanometer. That's the node TSMC is already producing for Apple's M series chips. That's what Intel is gambling on to stay alive. And if China gets there, on its own terms, the consequences could be seismic. It wouldn't just mean survival, it would mean dominance. And there's more. If Huawei and SMIC crack EUV and mass produce 3 nm chips, it's not just about outpacing TSMC or matching Intel. It's about disrupting the entire semiconductor supply chain. ASML, the Dutch giant, has held an iron grip on EUV lithography supplying machines that cost over $350 million each to the world's most advanced chipmakers. China, until now, has been locked out of this tech. But a functional domestically built EUV system, cheaper, scalable, and sanctioned proof, could flood the market and shatter ASML's monopoly. 
Some in the West may still be dismissive, but they're paying attention. TSMC is doubling down on high NA EUV development in Taiwan. Intel's pushing hard in Oregon. They see what's coming. China isn't there yet, but it's getting closer by the day. And those US sanctions? Ironically, they've become fuel. Instead of stalling China's momentum, they've accelerated it. In February 2025, Huawei's founder reportedly told Xi Jinping that chip shortages were easing. That's not optimism, it's a signal. And according to Reuters, even Nvidia has quietly warned its investors about Huawei's rising capabilities in AI chips. This is not a fluke. It's not a one-off. It's a tectonic shift. But that doesn't mean there aren't real obstacles ahead. ASML's ecosystem wasn't built overnight. It took decades of innovation, investment, and trial and error. Huawei's new LDP-based lithography technology is promising, but still unproven at scale. Early tests could encounter setbacks. Yields might lag behind what TSMC can achieve consistently. Mass production isn't guaranteed. The machinery is complex. The stakes are enormous. The West isn't panicking, not yet, but it is watching closely. And if you're still here, it means you get it. This isn't just about chips. It's about sovereignty, about independence. China no longer wants to rely on foreign tech to fuel its future. Huawei has opened a massive R&D center in Shanghai, reportedly hiring world-class engineers and scientists to build an entirely new generation of lithography machines from the ground up. Xi Jinping has made technological self-reliance a national priority, and this EUV breakthrough? It's a loud, undeniable sign that it's not just talk anymore. Insiders across the tech world are paying attention. Thought leaders on X, like MKI Go and Amuang, have been tracking these developments and sounding the alarm. China's catching up. Fast, but the road ahead remains steep. ASML's CEO stated in December 2024 that China is still 10 to 15 years behind in EUV technology. That may be true on paper, but time is compressing. SMIC's 7 nanometer chips, despite sanctions, without access to ASML's tools, are already working. If China pulls off 3 nm in 2026, the timeline for Western tech dominance could be shattered overnight. Still, building a full-stack EUV ecosystem, from precision lenses and mirrors to control software and etching materials, is a monumental task. China is betting big. The ambition is real. But success isn't assured. Not yet. So where does that leave us? As of now, Huawei's EUV trials are real. The 3 nm strategy is in motion. The entire Chinese semiconductor sector is charging forward like never before. The question is no longer if they'll challenge the West. It's when and how hard. Will they succeed? Too early to say. But one thing is crystal clear. The game has changed. This isn't a story of David and Goliath. This is Goliath reinventing himself, building his own slingshot. Faster, cheaper, and aimed squarely at the heart of the global tech hierarchy. And by Q3 2025, we'll know whether this machine is real or just vaporware. Until then, the entire world is watching, waiting, holding its breath. So, what do you think? Is China about to rewrite the rules of the chip war, or does the West still hold the line? Drop your thoughts in the comments. I read every single one. And if you're craving more, check out my deep dives on TSMC's China Dilemma and SMIC's 3 nanometer bombshell. Links in the description. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.